yeah welcome to lab 8 let's begin with task 1 so get into this link which they have given in the document and here you will see four steps to do just copy the command one by one and go to your lab 8 terminal and paste the execute the commands and no need to validate it just directly jump into the third command execute it and it will install it instantly yeah now let's verify the installation copy the fourth command for that if we don't get any errors here then it's perfectly installed yeah installation is good now we can move on to the next steps next thing is to install mini cube just again copy and run these two commands now run the second command to install it and yeah we have installed mini cube now let's start it mini cube space start and it may take some time if you are doing it for the first time or else it will just install it right away So Minikube has started up, now let's check it whether it's running, it or running or not. So execute this command, clear out the terminal. Okay, now we need to take a screenshot of this, name it 1a.png and save. Now task 1 is done. Let's go into task 2. We need to create a Kubernetes pod. So copy this command. Make sure you are in the lab 8 YAML files directory and then execute this command. Okay, so the pod is created. Now let's check it. Get all and also cube control get pods. now i think i'll make it for port 8080 because my port 80 is already in use in use with apache server so i'm doing it with 8080 now go into your browser go into localhost 8080 and yeah, you'll get a nginx screen name take a screenshot and name it 2b.png and the terminal screenshot should be named as 2a.png so three screenshots are done and task 2 is done i think just stop the con container pod by pressing ctrl c okay before mo moving on to the next task first let's delete the pods which we just created okay just that one command now come into task 3 just copy the command and paste it and execute it okay so the deployment is created now verify it and even here i'll change the port to 8080 
it's just the port and the target port should be 80 itself no need to change that now after it's created let's delete the deployments just copy paste the commands as in order okay q k missing sorry for the typo okay now clear the screen and execute this command okay so i think screenshot demands something more but okay let me copy this command let me check the screenshot okay get all so type in this command as an additional kubectl get all and then paste the command like again with port 8080 in my case so i got this now let me check it in the browser whether it's working fine or not yeah it's working fine now let me take a screenshot of this and name it 3b.png okay the web page screenshot is 3b.png and the terminal screenshot is 3a.png okay so this is done don't close this terminal don't press ctrl c let that be running for task 4 just copy this command you need to execute it on a new terminal okay open a new terminal let the terminal be as it is now execute the command okay again typo it's k at the start Okay, execute the command so the deployment is scaled now so and for the screenshot I think we need the get all command again yeah kubectl get all yeah and this is one more screenshot which we need I'll just maximize the terminal okay so take a screenshot here name it fourier.png and I think we are done with screenshots for this lab yeah all screenshots are done and just to clean up the environment paste these delete commands end this with ctrl c and delete the container delete the services and also the deployment okay so after this is done we still have those containers which we just scaled up so go back to the go back to see the command in task 2 you have this delete all ports command just copy it and execute it to delete everything at once okay after that is done execute the mini cube stop to con end the entire process let's wait for it to get deleted first yeah. now execute mini cube dot stop yeah and that's it for lab 8 subscribe my channel for further labs and thank you